Do you not want lightning to strike twice? I don't know. I feel like you, since you're going to a death metal show, you might <laughs> want it to. This is a way better start to the... It's like a the, dark, a deep, dark place. Obituary. Yeah. Slowly we rot. We're going to write your obituary all over your face tonight by melting it <laughs> off. The, I mean, they are going to melt faces for real. Like, I hate... <clears throat> I hate when people say like, hey man, I'll be melting faces tonight over playing at a so-and-so. <laughs> and meanwhile, you're playing Tom Petty. And then you're like, oh, I'm going to play this acoustic version of Purple Rain <laughs> Good. by Prince. Yeah, right, right. With no guitar solo. Oh, uh, dude, Roger was really melting faces last night at and the I have to shop. do it. I have to do it down like a whole octave <laughs> because I can't hit oh, the wow. Prince notes. This is really funny because uh, at, we're at the grind. We're at the grind doing our second podcast of the day. And <laughs> don't ask. At, I know. Yeah, really. We have a don't ask, don't tell policy here. <laughs> Addison's Just dad. about messing things up, though. Uh, well, I didn't press record. That's like when you're. That's like when you're trying to do a sex tape, but you forget to hit record. Has that happened to you? No. N- no, asking for a friend. <laughs> I think I just wrote on my Facebook page, who's going to obituary tonight at Victory North? And it was like... This guy. It was probably like <laughs> the Facebook equivalent of crickets in, re- <laughs> in response, which is just when no one likes your post, I right, guess. But right. Or people like it, but don't comment. Ugh. Well... You know what I hate? Recently, I've been trying to engage more people on Facebook by oh. asking a question yeah. or saying, hey, you know, tell me your favorite holiday tune because I've been curating my holiday playlist. Is that what this podcast is about? <laughs> is it? Could it Could it be? Well, it's also about comfort. Oh, yeah. And it's also about... Just the holidays in general, how they make you feel, whether that's comforting or not, I guess. If you're listening out there, that was for you. Callers, and- let us know how you <laughs> feel. <laughs> We could have, we could call, we could get, we could do a Facebook live and have people That's ask true. us questions. But not today. Yeah. Not so many this. ideas, so little time. I just have to press record. It'll all be fine. Okay. Double check. <sighs> oh, that little red button. I know. That's, we're there. Yeah. I know we're there. We're there. We are. We are. Um, what do you say if you're, if you're from the Midwest and you bump into someone? What do you say? This sounds like you're setting up a joke. Oh. Oh, oh. Right? Is that how you it say is, it? It is, yeah. But it's hard to reproduce effectively if you aren't in the moment. And I didn't realize how often I said it until the memes started happening Which is on ex- You said exactly the this this morning. Yeah. And I did not realize it until people started making funny videos about it or... Gustafsson? Gustafsson. Is yes. It, this was your this was your nickname back in oh, college. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> I had a little bit of an alter ego. And <laughs> in college and most of the time now, I really strive to just make my friends laugh. So I would do some kind of outlandish things in college. I would pretend to be really mad at people and I would just throw everything I had down and just run away at top speed oh that was one of the things that i did we called it the sarah storm off uh. and that didn't really have to do necessarily with drinking but it was a f- it was a funny funny thing yeah. i had a lot of fun friends in college we all met on the radio actually so on your radio show which you had a, you ha- also had a nickname when you were on the radio <laughs> show <laughs> oh. yeah so briefly we toyed with calling me Sweet Lady Sarah C when I was on a show called The Nightcap. So it was Sweet Lady Sarah C and Sean Z, who was my friend Sean mm-hmm. in college. He was very fun. We had a really fun riff on that show, similar to a, a Bill Brasky joke. Oh, yeah. Do you know Bill Brasky yeah, from yeah. SNL? Uh, right, Chicago Bears. No, Bill Brasky is not a real person. Bill Brasky. No, but they were all Bears fans. No, that's the, that's the um, oh, yeah. Bears. I think the they're Bears. just called like B- Bears. super fans. Bears super fans. Yeah. But Bill Brasky was similar to Chuck Norris, but all the Chuck Norris jokes that you hear are really like based on Bill Brasky jokes. Oh. 
And so without going too far into the the SNL history, you can catch it, I think, on one of the two Best of Will Ferrell DVDs. But the whole point is that he, he just had like a bunch of ridiculous things that he did, Bill Brasky. And so we created a new character based on <laughs> a sign from my hometown. And it said, Jack Donovan, watchmaker. It was like at a jewelry store. And he was the watchmaker at the jewelry store. And I was like, Jack Donovan, watchmaker. And we made up a bunch of funny things about that him. That was the riff. Yeah. Well, yeah. But we made, for example, Jack Donovan, watchmaker, sang the high harmony on Toto's Africa. Oh, of course. Just similar threads to that. But that was a fun. Well, it, that's, that's an unknown fact about that song. That, that right? Jack Donovan sang right. the high harmonies. Right, yeah. Right, right. And now he's just then, a watchmaker. And that was before the resurgence of that song, which has like really come back with teenagers now. Well, because Weezer just blatantly copied it. Well, yeah, they made a whole album of covers, which yeah. I haven't really listened to, but it's kind of it's a little derivative, if you ask well, me. Well, I mean, that's you weren't using this voice this morning, by the way. My <clears throat> my hipster voice. Well, I. I was really hoping that Weezer would do a Weezer version of Toto's Africa. Yeah, and said you know? they just did. Instead, the they version. literally, and for what? A million views? Is that what they wanted? Four million views? And they had the keyboard. Kashmani. That's, that's not very Weezer ish, though. No, it's not. But I don't know. I mean, I would love to read a psychological profile on Rivers, Rivers Cuomo because I feel like he went a little cuckoo at some point. Not cuckoo. That's bad. Mental health is, is for real, but yeah, let's yeah. After Pinkerton, he uh. was just, I don't know. He, I think shied away from the limelight for a while. And now I feel like he's just embraced it. He's like, I'm getting older. I'm no longer like edgy anymore. Really? I'm going to go ahead and well, my friend Hannah take Rose, the bull by the horns. Well, I mean, oh, what? And by taking the bull by the horns, he just blatantly just copied a, a, one of the biggest songs of all time. He's cashing those checks now. And he's not afraid of it. But he's, but, but he's always going to be cashing those checks from, um, what are all these homies dancing, my girl? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's good. Um, but my friend Hannah Rose okay. at College of Charleston. Hey, Hannah Rose, if you're listening, Hannah, she loves Weezer, and she love loves Weezer. she loves all their albums. The one about the dad and the something about daddy. Mm. I mean, I'm a blue album gal. So well, classic. Well, right. I mean, I green. Uh, Pinkerton also good. Didn't they do a teal album? Or is that the new one? I think. Is that the new one? Teal. Wait, what was the Pantone weird? Oh, orangutan. Pan- oh yeah, so the Pantone <laughs> for next year is the Pantone is blue. color for next year is not just blue know, but classic blue. And right. their rationale is that it takes you back to a time of feeling comfortable. So again, we're back to feeling comfortable and safe and stable. Oh, I'm not going to say anything. It's okay. Worst Christmas ever. But anyway, <laughs> for me. But um, what makes my Christmas better always is trying to get into the Christmas spirit. And the only way I know how to do that is by listening to some kick-ass Christmas songs. Here we go. Okay. So. So let's tap into the holliest, jolliest playlist, which I yeah, created. This and is, I shouldn't and see, say Christmas because it's a holiday playlist. I feel like every time we do a podcast, we should do one first and not record it and then do another one in the same day. Yeah, let's Be- do it. Well, I honestly kind of feel like you're taking control of this podcast. <laughs> Am I carrying it, would you say? <laughs> what was his name? So I had a friend who will remain <laughs> nameless. I had a friend. Oh, right. That was until an he, indictment of until our he friendship. Said, oh, you're doing, a, you're doing a podcast with Jevin? Well, luckily, he'll be able to carry it, and you'll be able to organize it like a woman. Yeah. And you'll be able to like make Jevin a sandwich during the podcast. Which I actually did. I, I got Jevin a bagel before he got here today. You did? But only because it was the last one, and I didn't want you to miss out. Aw. Uh, everything bagels are everything. You know what I really liked about that particular everything bagel that you usually don't get is some salt. Yes. 
So I'm going to give a quick shout out both to the Grind Coffee Roasters, which is amazing. Which everyone, is our sponsor. <laughs> everyone who will listen, <laughs> I will tell you to go to this coffee shop. Faux show. We also, I mean, the Corner Perk is also a great coffee shop. Yes. It is. But right now, we're, we're here. And who else are you going to give a shout out to? Addie? Yes, Addie. Addie, from if the you're grind. Li- Addie, if you're listening. And Ian, Ian, are you listening? This I mean, they might be literally listening because they can hear us talk about I it. Know. It's hard to get people to listen to podcasts that are local. Yeah. <laughs> so, but shout out to the Sugary, which is where they get the bagels. Oh. Todd and Joe at the Sugary. Todd makes some delicious, delicious bagels and other assorted lunch items. They have an amazing lobster roll. They'll do uh, Connecticut or Maine style for you. So drawn butter or mayo. Oh, dear. Yes. Whatever you're into. More stuff that I don't know. I don't know. I like repping the local local businesses. Did you talk to a Nigerian prince before you? (laughs) Oh, my God. You're making this. It's too... Yeah, so to backstory on that. <laughs> backstory on that is that I used to work at Corner Perk when they were still in their old location, Corner Perk local on legend Bruin. On Bruin. coffee shop. Yeah, my little Bruin brother Road. played a few a few shows there. Cool, Kieran Daly. Hey, Kieran, if you're listening, which you're not, hi. Another just dark twist and turn. So I worked at Corner Perk, and a lot of women in a certain generation, which will remain nameless, oh dear. would talk to me about how I needed to move my purse off the counter. Right. And I was like, I can see it in my peripheral vision. I know <laughs> a lot of the people that come in here, I'm, n- I'm going to notice if someone walks away with my purse that's literally parallel to my body. And, you know, you can't help but wonder... These are the same people that are like giving their money out to Nigerian princes on the reg or <laughs> any other number of scams that. Yeah. The deep state. Obviously not true. What about the deep state? <laughs> what about the deep state? I don't know. Shadow government. I mean, yeah, I don't know. we don't talk about we don't talk about that kind of stuff on this podcast, which is called. Jabba Jump. Jabba jam, Jabba jam, cha. <laughs> because we drink coffee, even though I left my coffee in the other room. Yeah, you left your coffee in the other room. I left my coffee all over the floor, and I spilled it on someone next to me, who then uh, moved tables immediately after. What's that song by ZZ Top? I left my something in Mississippi. I left my heart in San Francisco. That's not a ZZ Top. I think I think they did a. I think ZZ Top ZZ. ZZ. Natalie Hefter, if you're listening, hi. She Does hates, she like she ZZ? hates ZZ Top? Oh, weird. My brother-in-law hates Queen. Hates. Hates. She hates ZZ Top. But Queen is an in Queen is a kind of an innocuous band to hate in the sense that I, like their songs are very popular. I don't. I, I. I've never listened to a Queen song um, unless I was learning it. I learned "Fat Bottom Girls." Oh, I'm sure you did. Well, I had to for JoJo Squirrel, which is one of the bands I'm in. Hey, everybody! They're also a sponsor. JoJo Squirrel, thank you for your sponsorship. We can say that because Jevin's in it. So. Um, yeah, but I've never. <clears throat> I've never like rock. Well, I, you know, I have taught a lot of kids. <clears throat> um, don't, 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 do, 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 do. Nope, wrong one. Oh, that's do, do, do. It. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Here's a rip off. Another of that. one bites the dust. Yeah, do 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 on the bass. Yeah, yeah. Because kids are kids always say. I want to learn the bass, and I and then they like I remember really a long time. You you can you were in the you were in the core you were in the acapella group. Yes. So do you remember like when you're really first starting like get into music? You're in like third grade or fourth grade, and some kids will go like, "Hey man, I can play through. I can play. Uh, I can play beat it on the drums." And they're like, and they're playing like a hi hat, and they're and they're they're trying to play the. Yeah, song. you're like, yeah, you're playing the melody. That's not the drum part, bro. No, because the drum part is like. 
Yeah, drums are hard. I mean, I don't know that for sure, but they seem hard. I think anything's hard to master. True. That's a good point. To master. Do you ever listen to the podcast Disgraceland? Is no. I don't listen to a lot of podcasts because mm. I don't have a long attention span. Oh, fair enough. I'll like, you know what I really like is I like highlights. Highlights magazines? The magazine for I used children? to read highlights. You like getting highlights? Oh, you like the highlights. So that's why you're a big YouTuber. <laughs> not a big YouTuber, but a big, person yeah. who goes on YouTube. I enjoy YouTube. What do you YouTube. call someone who goes on YouTube to watch videos? A YouTube fanatic. Okay. I only, I pretty much will, like lately I've been watching Slap Fight, which is a new sport. Okay. And this guy Vasily. It sounds like, uh, Slap Fight sounds like a, the plot to an episode of Arrested Development, for sure. It doesn't sound like a real thing. I don't think I watched that show. Is that with Jason Bateman? It is. He's the straight man in it. Right. Who's the curved man in it? <laughs> I guess Jeffrey <laughs> Tambor. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, if I were to choose someone. Well, so there's a really funny YouTuber. I think his name is Penguin Zero. And that's his YouTube name. Okay. He's so funny, though. And he, he's kind of like a good-looking guy with black hair and a black beard, kind of long hair. And um, he talks through the whole slap fights. And, the, and slap fighting is guys slap each other, one, two, three, and they slap. And then the other guy will slap the other guy. And guys get knocked out cold all the time. It's crazy. Ew. From a slap. I'm not into stuff like that. I never yeah. really was. I didn't ever like America's Funniest Home Videos for the same reason. Because of like people getting hurt? Well, I don't think that they're technically allowed to put videos on if people got hurt in the end, like badly like, at least. Yeah, well, like, but they'll put a but they'll put a video of like a guy hitting a mailbox on a bike and like hitting yeah. D, hitting D's nuts on the bar. <laughs> 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 the D's your the D's nuts jokes have to come naturally, like yeah. D's nuts. <laughs> I was just referencing. Sorry. Is this a family podcast? I, I was referencing. I mean, we don't even really know at this point. What is the podcast called that never got recorded? It, does it have a name? The episode that that's not there. It was the First. pod that never was. It uh. went on and on because you know that song. <laughs> I looked how you looked at the recorder. Why? I was like, oh, you were checking to see if it was recorded. Yeah, I was like, yeah, it went on and on because it <laughs> didn't get recorded, so it's fine. It's out there somewhere. Yeah, it's out in the universe. What if someone was recording it, like the NSA, the deep state? Oh yeah. If you were listening, I hope you only podcast once. Okay. Oh, Yopo. <laughs> <laughs> We should make those pins. We should suggest that to our favorite podcasters. Yopo. Is, yeah, Yopo. You only well, podcast we could make once. pins. I mean, all we day. We could, yeah. If this po I think this podcast is really going to take off. Oh, yeah. So Definitely. when you amassed your playlist. Yes. Well, I put my favorites on there. I like, I do a mix of the indie Christmas playlist that right. they have online. Waitresses. And Pretenders. then, yeah, and then I like the classics too. So, the nice thing, Sufjan Stevens, for example, has a good, good Christmas album. But he does some originals that are Christmas songs, but he also does a lot of religious Christmas songs, which I like as well. We th we, and some uh, deep cuts. Like, he's a bring a torch Jeanette Isabella guy, which is like, that's not a surface level Christmas song. That's yeah, I don't a know deep that cut. One. I consider myself, I'm a huge, I think part of the reason we got around to doing this podcast is because I feel like I love Christmas songs more than anyone, especially Alvin and the Chipmunks. Yes. I didn't even put an Alvin and the Chipmunks Christmas song on it yet. Christmas time is here. Time See, that's just, that's what I do. Yeah. I mean, that's what I've done. I like, as far as Christmas songs that other people find annoying, because you know people find that annoying. But I they like um, I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. That's a classic oh, as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Two know. that I need to add to the playlist. It's an ever-evolving playlist. So yeah, I mean, just if think you have about suggestions for that, just let me know. Yeah, hey, if you're out there listening and you have suggestions for uh, Sarah Joey's next 2020. No, it's just going to evolve. Oh. Some classics on it. 
Christmas Treat by Julian Casablancas of Ooh, The of, Strokes. Or of The Voids. Oh. Is oh. He, he's The Strokes guy, right? He is. Okay. But have you I heard... I was like second guessing myself for a second. Oh, I, I'm surprised because that's your wheelhouse is like bands like that. Knowing people's names. Well, I mean, just like The Strokes are hipster. Yeah. I remember the first time I heard The Strokes. I think I was like 14. So it was, you know, only a few years ago. I was but. probably 50. <laughs> it was in the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't, you don't, you haven't heard Father Electricity by Julian Casablanca's band, The Voids? No. Well, thank God. Now I have. I can cross that one off the that list. That was a cover. <laughs> that was my cover. Hey, Julian Casablanca's. It's nice, though, to have an actual musician sing you a song because something that I always found <laughs> as a kid was that someone would be like, you know that song. It sounds like this. And, and then I would hear yeah, the song I know, later. Like, it sounds nothing like it. And I was like, what were they singing to me? What uh, was it? I know. It's I don't kind know if of a like, bummer. Yeah, that can be a real letdown when... No, the worst People's, letdown well, with can music, Can you imagine how many, how many times I... A week I hear that though, like, hey, hey, um, you know what you sh- you know what song you guys should do, you know what song you guys should do. Guilty. You guys should do. Um, you've done that to me. No, I mean not like saying the song to you, but. And then people sing the song to me, and I'm like, stop it. <laughs> I don't know what you're singing. Stop yourselves. Stop it. And then last night, of course, at the Palmetto Bluff Ch- Chapel concert, some guy yelled. What did he yell? Freebird. Yeah. No. No. And then Gary said, I said, I'm going to let Gary reply. And then Gary, Gary got on the mic and said, get out. He said, there's the door, I think. Yeah, we he were was being... like, I could buy you. <laughs> <laughs> the guy, the guy, <laughs> not Gary. <laughs> probably. Well, yeah, probably. <clears throat> can you, be- honey, can you believe they said that to me? Can't believe that band was really, it was real fun until then. They were so aggressive. <laughs> Aggro. The, uh, We've talked about this before, how I think you're an alpha, but you don't. Oh, oh dear. We're going to talk about that. Um, but, I, but you said that you think I'm an alpha because it wasn't well, necessarily because I'm like a 250-pound bulldog. No, because I think that a lot of times that exterior is a mask for deeper insecurities. A little teddy bear. A little pussycat. Yeah. A little schmear, sh- schmear cat. Like, you can be aggressive but not be confident. Oh, yeah. I well, think that your confidence is what makes you an alpha. People want to be like you and they want to know you. I. This is where you say thank you and I say you're welcome. No, no, no. I know. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Thank you. I know. That was a nice thing to say. Um, part of being... A local performer, though, is kind of like not letting people get to know you too much. Sure. Because it's also a part of like, oh, I can just see him anywhere. Or uh, I know all about Jevin now. I know he likes to watch Slap Fight. And I know he likes death metal. And, you know, I know he, he hates picking up Chihuahua poop that's, that's, pr- that's like fossilized. Yeah. It's like the petrified forest, but just on your floor. Yeah. And, and I have to get my... Part of my morning routine is boiling the water for the pasta, cu- cutting the lettuce and putting it in the thing, and then getting and then putting my face down to the floor on the carpet that is the same color of your shirt, which is sort of a what do we say? Mauve, I think. Oh, is a good, oh, really? Mauve. Did we say mauve no, earlier? No. Was, okay. I said. You said. You said. Um. It was a. Uh, no, I said cranberry. You, you said, said merlot. No. Oh yeah, and then you said pinot noir. I don't think it's dark enough to be Merlot, but yeah, I think you're right. Mauve. But my carpet is that color. It's okay. a, it's a Oriental rug and it's Does so the carpet match the sweater. The Chihuahua sweater. No, mine. Oh, <laughs> get it. <laughs> Drapes. Okay. Um, so I have to get my face down on the flow to look for the little turds that are always there and they're always old. I wish you had like, the glasses that a jeweler would wear, a gla- the glasses that Jack Donovan might wear, Jack Donovan watchmaker. Oh yeah! To get really into the watch that have the weird like 
like not a monocle, but like yeah. a very heavily magnified macro yes. glass. Yes. Yeah. Macro. You have to get those. Maybe you should ask for that for Christmas. But that's when the dogs will be leaving. Oh, fair enough. We're What's not, on your Christmas list this we're year? We're talking about that. <laughs> What's on my Christmas list? Uh, I say this every year. Healthy family. Okay. Well, I think you're doing a good job by making the salad and... Does she eat the pasta every day? <sighs> but the salad, she does not. The other child does not. Kalamata, anyone? Kalamata? She likes Greek salad. Kalamata, I barely know her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, what? Who said that? That's good. That's that's why you're that's why you're here carrying this podcast. Uh, Kalamata. What? Uh She does eat every Brianna eats every piece of pasta in that What's it called? That you put the Oh yeah, the thermos. You right, said. thermos. Like a soup thermos, but Correct. instead of soup it has pasta. It does. It. it does not have it does not have Anything in it, no onion. What typically you would put in a pasta dish? Mm, Red pepper sauce. And well, it has Italian dressing on it, like with yeah. aged Romano cheese. Oh, that's in the dressing, or yeah, in the, it's in the okay. dressing. Yeah, I know it's kind of like so killing two condiments with one. Yeah, you know. I mean that's typical of a Greek dressing as well. Right with a feta. Yes. And then I put feta in the salad. And then the, and then the other day, they were playing volleyball at lunch. And my daughter had uh, in Tupperware, not a, not a, you know how some Tupperware like locks down mm-hmm. so you can get that freshness? So she had it in regular Tupperware that was cracked. Ooh. And someone in the volleyball, wham. And so when I opened up her, it was like a big fat Greek wedding in the mm, lunch sack. I love that. I love that movie. Sack. I just sent a I just sent a reference to that movie to my sister the other day via text message because she sent me a photo of Are you guys Greek? No. She sent me a photo of her friend's daughter. And I was like, I could be Lisa's daughter. Like I could very easily just be one of her children. And because you look Greek? No, you have to let me get to the reference. Oh. So there's a part in that movie where they're talking to the aunt and the aunt is telling a crazy story and she goes, and inside was my twin because she has this tumor and it had like her oh, twin inside of it. Geez. It's a really weird part oh, of that movie. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen the little, they made a reference that in South Park. Yes, but that's I what watch. I sent her. Oh, I was you like, I the, could be her. <laughs> the tumor twin? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Jeez. The tumor twin. <sighs> a big, a, that's like a baby head on the, like a little baby. Yeah. yeah. E, that's like a Harry Potter thing. <sighs> Seems like. Do you like Harry Potter? No. I like this song that's playing. That's from Peanuts. Yeah. So that's another classic. Vince Guaraldi Trio. Yeah. Charlie Brown Christmas. That's not only just... Nostalgic, one of the best, but like a good. It's actually good music. It's not like well composed. A guilty pleasure. A guilty pleasure would be something like Mariah Carey's "All I Want for Christmas" or George Michael's "Last Christmas." Wham's "Last Christmas." Oh yeah, you know that's on there. I actually have the Jimmy World version on the playlist as well, which is another good version. Huh. Um. Do you? I will. Let me ask you. Do you have? I saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus by Jackson 5. I do. Mm-hmm. You have to. But also, what else, if you were to pick something from Jackson 5, would you put on there? Oh, jeez. Uh, also, uh, r- a, another great version by Bruce Springsteen. Uh, I don't know. You don't like the Santa Claus is coming to town? Uh... Bruce Santa Springsteen. Claus coming to town. Uh, Clarence Clemens wailing on the saxophone. We have the same last name. We're probably related. Growing up in a household where I would later was 
kind of led into the John Coltrane saxophone world and playing saxophone myself, even though I did love Careless Whisper and Men at Work growing up. I later became a saxophone snob, mm. and I've never so listened. So you only listened to Kenny G from that point I've on. Never, <laughs> I've never listened to... I, you know, what I think what I find later on as I grow older, as I'm growing older, is anyone who has made it big in music deserves, me, deserves a listen. But I've yeah. never listened to Bruce Springsteen Ever? on YouTube. Oh unless I was learning a song for the band. Atlantic City? JoJo Squirrel. I thought Atlantic City was a band song. No, the band. It's, that's a cover of the Bruce Springsteen song. I don't know either one. Oh, it's a great. Both of them are great versions. How many times have I listened to Millie Vanilli on YouTube? Countless. Oh, geez. What? Yeah. You know what else? Going back to Cali, Cali, Cali. I'm going back to Cali. What is that? I don't think so. I'm going back to Cali. What? What is it? Are you serious? Yes, I'm Hello, serious. Hello, Cool J. Oh, yeah. Going back to Cali. I only know rising, surprising, advising, realizing. <laughs> but that's not embarrassing. <laughs> it's not embarrassing. No, no. Millie, you think Millie Vanilli is? Yeah, obviously. Come on, man. Come on, man. You think Blame It on the Rain is embarrassing? What are some of your what's an embarrassing song on your playlist? Okay, so on this playlist specifically or like my life playlist? No, 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 no. We're not going there. I was going to say, wanna, I don't because wanna. I have a die-hard love and obsession with the song Hotel California by the really? Eagles. Oh, yeah. Have you heard Frank Ocean's, he re, no. he sang new lyrics over top of the chord changes of Hotel Ooh. California, and, and Don Henley got super pissed. Well, I'm sure Imagine that, Don Henley getting super pissed, everybody. That's like La- Lars Ulrich getting super pissed. Is Don Henley? I know. I know Ian from the grind is here and he's, he's like, like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> he's been like, here all day. <laughs> We're doing a 24 hour podcast today. It's like a lock in podcast. <laughs> it's like We're fundraising for something undecided. We're not really, but uh, we could be. What we could, could we? do that. Not chihuahuas. What? I thought you didn't like. Have chihuahuas. you ever seen chihuahuas that have broken back legs and they put little wheels on them? I have seen a they- dog like that, but it was a dachshund. <laughs> I think we should do a fundraiser for uh, her, for Sarah, for all the coffee that she spills in the day. Ooh, oh, reference yeah. to the coffee. Should I get it? It'll be ironically, it'll be like in one of those Maxwell House coffee tins, and I'll cut a little hole in the top, and that's where you can put the money, so I can buy uh, coffee that's not Maxwell yeah, House. Yeah, yeah, like a little slot. Mm-hmm. That um, hey, uh, I feel like that's the first coffee I've ever spilled here. You were and I pour- come here a lot. Weren't you pouring it out for your um your homies? Jevin, my homie Jevin. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. We're, we so we did the podcast over there earlier, and then did I tell you that I forgot to press, press record? <laughs> yeah. So you know, everyone makes mistakes. It's fine. That's right. Salt and sugar look the same. You're right. I always have to. Do a little. I just made a motion with my finger and did a taste you test. D- sonic, sonic. Son- the sonic. Let me paint the sonic picture for you. The sonic picture is you made a. I, why did I sound like, like Buffalo Bill? When I don't I know. Said you've that, you've done it. That's the third time you used but that. That was voice. a different voice. Yeah, that's what Ooh. I was going to say. The sonic picture I would paint of Sarah. What Sarah's just doing is of Al Pacino and Scarface, <laughs> except with, except with sugar. Except. I definitely look more like Al Pacino and Scarface than I do Michelle Pfeiffer. That's for sure. I'm just saying. It's not self-deprecating, kind of. You think you look more like Al Pacino than, than Michelle, Michelle Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer? I mean, she's like a statuesque blonde. Oh, a short, brother. stubby, we're not gonna, dark We're not going to start person. talking about blondes again, are we? No. Was yeah. that you? I don't know. Maybe. Santa Claus? Santa Claus, is that, is that you? you, Santa Claus? <laughs> Wait. Do you know that? Louis Armstrong is the guest tonight on Java Jam. Java. Singing, uh, we're going to get him to do a real quick version of the Michael Daly original uh, Maria Sharapova. Ready? Here we go. Louis, take it away. I love you, Maria Sharapova. Thank you, Louis. <laughs> that was good. Good job. Wow, great job. They call him Satchmo. Satchmo. 
Uh, comfort. So Almond. mine, I think, is obvious. Your songs, music, and movies, Christmas movies. Elf. I like Elf. Do you like um, the Chevy Chase's movies? Vi- Christmas Vacation, definitely. Yeah. Just because it makes me think of my dad because he loves that movie. He's still he alive. Will, Your dad. My dad still. loves that movie so much that he will laugh at that movie in the same exact way every time he watches it. Can you imagine watching a movie 436,000 times and laughing the exact same way in every part? Hmm. That's why I like that movie. That's why it makes me think about my dad's reaction to it. I think that movie's pretty good. Like when Elaine Bennis is next door. Yeah, Seinfeld. Todd and Margo. <laughs> so I have some regulars at my second job at Doughboy's Pizza HHI. Shout out. Thanks for your sponsorship. Oh, yeah. Also, thank- come. We have lots of great specials um, in the off season. So come and visit me. Uh, Gene King and uh, your mom, uh, Sheila. Shout out to you guys for uh, going and eating pizza when Gavin and Selena are out of town. Oh, come on. Shout I thought out. you weren't going to <laughs> shout trash out to talk people. Sh- I'm not <laughs> I thought I was going to be the one that had problems with that. Have you ever seen not. Have you ever seen the Rick James, um, the video where Chappelle's doing Rick James and he's like, "Man, I never went to Eddie Murphy's house and put muddy boots all over his couch." Of course, I went to his house and put muddy <laughs> boots all over his couch. So, I, when I ratted out Sheila, I didn't mention your name, but I am now. <sighs> he's but gonna know that it doesn't it was, matter. Oh, he probably doesn't know we know each other though. No, Gene. I know, right? So I ratted out Sheila to. Gavin and, and Selena, I said, you know, I know you guys are, all, are always feeding her all them green drinks and all those yummy, yummy avocado blue meals. Oh, shout out to Avocado Blue, our yeah. sponsor. Yeah, they're um, so good. Yeah. They really saved me in a pinch because I had to get food the week after I got my wisdom tea taken out. Mm. And I oh, was like, soft, soft food. Can, I, can you make me a smoothie with no seeds? <laughs> or nuts or anything that's going to get stuck in my weird open oh, sockets yeah. in my mouth. Right. And she did. Also, yeah. I couldn't drink through a straw. Yeah, you can't suck because you'll get dry socket. That's what she said. And uh, so anyway, so after you ratted out Sheila and Jean for going to Doughboys, when Gavin they and They haven't Selena been right recently. Time, that's because Gavin and Selena have been here. Oh, that's so a good point. To, to, make, to make my analogy with the Rick James uh, Chappelle thing, Gavin took a video of Sheila on the couch, and she goes, "Yes, I'm upset at Chevin. Chevin, we don't go to Doughboys every night <laughs> when Gavin and Selena are in New York City. I like to break it up and maybe eat it every other night." And Gavin was like zooming in and zooming out really fast <laughs> on the video. <laughs> she likes the meatballs. I can say that. Man, I'm really digging my hole deeper, aren't I? You know what I realized? Go. The longer your hair gets, though, you know who you start to look like more? My hair? Oh, no. I'm cutting this off. I knew that was going to be the the point that you would... That would be your pain point. What? Did I have something it? on my face? No, 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 no. I'm doing that to my face. Okay. Uh, I look like someone now that my hair is getting longer. Okay, ready? The lion in uh, Lion King. Yes, sure. Okay. Uh, the orangutan in... Um, Low Country uh, Boyle? Yes. <laughs> we'll call him the elder statesman of Low Country Boyle. You call him my dad an orangutan? Nah, I was just making a I joke. Know. Who do I look like now that my hair's a mullet? I said the elder statesman in Low Country Boyle. Oh, you Boyle. think I look more like my dad? Yes. Oh, shoot. Do you want that? Yeah. Well, you I mean, mean do I, wait, do you mean your dad could get it? It's fine. Get what? Get, <laughs> get it in. Not for me particularly, but he's an he is a distinguished gentleman. We're not gonna talk about you right now, Sarah. Okay. We're not talking about me. It's fine. But you are starting to do look like not. your dad. Oh, yeah. When your hair gets longer. When I first started writing songs again in 2014 after a long hiatus, Ooh. I tried to write a song called It Makes Me Mad When People Say I Look Like My Dad. And the song was kind of like, it never got finished because it's one of those 
This was one of those songs that I just didn't finish, but it was kind of like. I mean, he's he's the guy. He's the one. He's the person in my life that I always go to if I need advice. Yeah. Yeah. He's your dad. That's a good. Despite any complications that you may have with him, that's a good person to have on. I your was side. thinking about marrying him so that I could say, "I married my best friend." Oh my god! I hate it when people say that. <laughs> It's one of those things where I guess like it's okay as long as you have another best friend. Who you're, not, who you're not married to. Correct. Because if like you're married a podcast to your best wife? friend, yeah, podcast <laughs> wife, podcast, happy podcast wife, happy podcast life. Am I right? That's another pin. Yeah. Oh. That could be like. Sometimes I think the things we come up with though are too inside baseball. Uh, No. Okay. Not that one. No. Well, I mean, being I would say yourself. You could make one. This is what you could make. You could make an enamel pin that says "Happy work wife, happy work life." Yeah. And people would like that. Yeah, yeah, they would. Happy podcast wife, happy pot. Yeah, I mean, I see what you're saying. It's a little bit. It's a little. It's a little. Uh, it's it's a little deep there. Yeah. Well, that's where I like to go, though. I live my life six <laughs> feet under. You know. Oh, that was a good good recovery. I thought you said you'd like to go deep, and I was like, "Yeah, I wasn't gonna let you go there, Sarah." Don't, not now. Not now. Um, let's go over a few quick um, housekeeping items. Thank well, you to yeah. our sponsor. The yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and also, well, I just want to go. I just want to go over Maywood Davis's toffee. Thank you. Toffee? Oh yeah, you had one of those. I actually haven't eaten it yet, but oh, really? I've got it here, saved for it's, later. It's it looks a little, like a little nug. It's, it's a little dime bag, yeah. I know. <laughs> it's a like little, a little nug of toffee. It is. Uh, so let's name people that you look like. That people oh. tell you all the time that you okay. look like. Because this is a fun part of the I have podcast. Gotten, it de- it depends on what is in in we pop could, culture. We could call too. Uh, so sure. I doubt you watched this show, but probably ten years ago. Within the last 10 years, the show Ugly Betty was very popular. Did I have watched that before. Only briefly, though. So people always used to tell me that I looked like, and I quote, the cute version of Ugly Betty. Was there two versions? Well, I think they just think, like, facial structurally, America Ferrara and I have... Facially structured. Yes. Basically. Structurally, our faces look similar. Kind oh yeah, of. yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And also, she wore glasses in that show. I think the glasses are what's keeping you down in life. Keeping me down? I'm joking. But Vel- but Velma from Scooby Doo wore glasses. Yeah. And also Marcy from Peanuts wore glasses. We're rocking out. I mean, it's been fifteen plus years since this has been part of my looks. So. Well, also, I'd have to wear more under eye concealer if I didn't wear glasses. <laughs> you would have to. Yeah. I still do anyway, but. Well, I mean, also your glasses match your drapes. (laughs) (laughs) Today they do. Yeah. Today your glasses match your um, your Merlot, your uh, Pinot, whatever you call it, your color. No, we called it Mauve. 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 Harold and Mauve. That's the name of the podcast. (laughs) Harold and Mauve. You're Harold. (laughs) I'm Mauve. Why not? Okay. I don't know what Dirty Harold. Dirty Harold. <laughs> yeah, is that? That's that, like the British version of Dirty Harry. Right. Even though oh, Harry God. is also like vaguely British. I too. would never want to watch any. Dirty Harold. Have you ever tried to watch the British version of The Office? It's tough. I'm not a British comedy person. Definitely British drama. Oof. You like British drama? Oh, yeah. Like the cop shows there are so much better than the ones here. Uh, Broadchurch. Is it so like. Good. Is it like here's the theme song for the cop shows? Ready? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? No, what not like a reality do? show. What come for you, bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? Except it's like naughty boys. Oh yeah, right, <laughs> right. Naughty lads, naughty lads, what you gonna do? <laughs> what you gonna naughty do? Naughty mate. <laughs> <laughs> not, wouldn't that be Australian? That's the Australian version. Yeah. Oh, ooh, that's not a, that's not a, that's not a police car. This is a police car. Oh. That was a cr- <laughs> yeah <laughs> crocodile Dundee. <laughs> I almost said R.I.P., but that's the crocodile hunter. Uh, Wait, who is Crocodile Dundee? What's that guy's name? 
What's his real name? I almost called him Greg Norman. And I'm like, no, Greg that's Norman's a golfer. A golfer. <laughs> and he's South African, I think, too. Greg Norman? Yeah. <laughs> Do you like the band Deant Word? We already talked about this before. Uh, We're talking about it on air now. <laughs> This is live, guys. Yeah. Um, you, last night you went to the Reader's Choice Awards for Hilton Head Monthly. Did, Do you want to talk, yeah. just briefly talk, touch on that since we did so earlier? So I went up to the registration <laughs> table and there were some nice young women working the registration table. 15 year olds. They were, they seemed very, they were not actually 15. I'm bad at gauging ages now. As the older that I get, I'm like, they seem really young. And they're like, we're 24. And I'm like, oh, oh my God. Oh. I didn't actually ask them how old they were. They did what appear you very kids? young. How can you have a drink in your hand? You look like you're 12. I'm 30. So we oh. so we go up to the will call table to pick up our tickets because we had gotten tickets uh, because of the fact that we were in Faces of the Low Country. We is my boss, Meg, and I. Mm-hmm. So we went there. They couldn't find us on the list. It, maybe it wasn't the right list, whatever. So they said, are you... Spot, are you winners? Mm. And we said no. We were in Faces of the Low Country. And then they kept looking, kept looking, asking the company name again, which happens to us a lot because we have a really long company name. And what, the Hilton Head Builders Association? Hilton Head Area Home Builders Association is right. the full name. So. At an event like that, it would be under the full company name, most likely. And so they keep looking under there, keep looking, keep looking, and then ask like at least one to two more times, are you winners? So finally, they had asked enough times where I was getting slightly annoyed, but still kind of, I don't know, not punchy, but humorous about it. And so I just went, (laughs) yeah, I guess sort of snarky. I was like, well, I mean, I feel like we're winners, but... (laughs) In the sense that you're asking, probably not. So then, thankfully, some staff came and intervened. And They're we, okay. They yeah. Come this way. Right this we way. We got one of that, those. Right this way, ladies. It was nice. But it was nice to see there were lots of the business owners there, which sometimes you just send your staff to mm-hmm. stuff like oh. that. Oh. But. Well, it is nice when you go somewhere and the owner is there. Anywhere. I'm talking about, like, when you see Ian. When Ian, mm-hmm. was, when Ian was trying to infiltrate our podcast a minute ago. Infiltrate. Like, hey, dude, if you don't have a microphone to drop, then you're not allowed <laughs> to be here. Fair enough. What did we decide on the topic of interviews? You mean if we have a guest? Yeah. No. Ooh. I don't know. I think, I think, I don't know. I, did we, did we decide? It's hard because sometimes you don't know what the vibe is going to be like. With a new person. Mm-hmm. Three's a crowd. It is. Hey, you, get off of my cloud. That's Mick Jagger. It is. There's a lyric in that song that says, Hey, you. I think it get says two's a cloud. Doesn't it say two's a crowd in Maybe. that song? I think oh. he wants to be on his cloud by himself. Okay. I mean, I could look it up on my phone, a, but... Do you think it's a drug-related thing? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, Gary sings the song. Gary, if you're listening. Gary. Gary's also a sponsor. Thanks, Gary. Thanks for sponsoring, Gary. We'll accept... Wait, is this weekend the weekend Gary's going to Disney World? Do you know? No, he'll be there on Sunday. He will be. Is it the weekend after next weekend? Uh, maybe he, yeah. Gary told me a very cute story recently. I don't even know how we got on this topic, to be honest. I think I probably asked him what he was doing for the holidays. And Mm. he said just, he would just be here, but that he's going to Disney World Uh. with his family. And he said his daughter, when he asked her what she wanted for her birthday, she said that she just wanted him to come with them this time. That's pretty cool. I was like, you guys are like, Cute dad status in that band. Fur dad counts too. Fur daddy. Andy. Hey. Fur daddy. Hey. Don't <laughs> <call him that. laughs> yo, Andy. Fur daddy. <laughs> hey. Yo, listen. 
That's what all the ladies in Bluffton call Andy Pitts, <laughs> fur daddy. They they probably were when he had that massive beard, that ZZ Top beard. Yeah, that was interessante. So if you're planning any uh, shows for the next couple of weeks, Low Country Boil, you can hit them up at the Roasting Room. When is it? December, December 20th? December 20th. Oh, yeah. That's exciting. Forgot about that. Yeah. I mean, the Roasting Room. Just look for the world's oldest picture of them and then... Buy your tickets there. You might have to buy them in person, though, if that photo is any indication. <laughs> because Sorry. the Rose Room doesn't have, like, That was internet like digital. or <laughs> website, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that was savage. Jordan, if you're listening... <laughs> Sorry. Thanks for not being a sponsor of this podcast, Jordan Ross. Uh, the Rose Room is getting a new light truss. They don't need it. The lights are amazing there. But the Rose Room knows money in, money out. Put money in, you get money out. Oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta spend a little to make a little for sure. We're just saying different versions of the I same know, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. how many different euphemisms can we say for that? I mean, I'm done to be honest. Like one is good. for Find me, a penny, pick it up, save it, get a couple thousand of them, and then buy some new lights. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not it. Uh. Plastic tree or real tree? I have a. Pl- I it's not plastic. I don't think, but oh, is I have it a totally like? It's totally made of like recycled bottle caps. No, but that's a good segue though into. I just read this open letter to Jeff Bezos. Who that? Jeff Bezos, um, Amazon CEO. Oh. So apparently, do you are you familiar with the shoes Allbirds? So all birds are made out of uh, New Zealand merino wool and also have a sole that is made of sugar cane. So it's all very like environmentally friendly yeah. and you can throw them in the washer. Oh. They're really great shoes. Thank you, all birds. <laughs> Thanks for, for being a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> they would be a good sponsor. But basically, they wrote a letter and they said, you know what? We would be glad to send you the formula for creating uh, the soles of these shoes because what happened was that Amazon created a ripoff version of Allbirds. And Uh. yeah. So I don't think they're going to be sponsoring us anytime soon. Amazon? Yeah. Yeah, That's okay. Well, we're, we're protesting Amazon right now. But it was just very interesting because the uh, one of the founders and owners of Allbirds kind of said, here you go. We'd be glad to give you the information on how to build that technology yourself. But the reason why people like our brand is because it's environmentally sustainable and friendly. Was Amazon putting like rubber soles yeah, on the shoes? Yeah, like same petroleum BS that's in every other sneaker, which yeah. people buy Allbirds because... It's not. Correct. I saw um, they're making roads now in... I, I want to say... You still haven't eaten that thing? Um, they're making roads out of recycled plastic in, I want to say, France? pretty cool and it la- it lasts a really long time and yeah that's pretty cool you're gonna have to carry this conversation for the next few seconds because i gotta eat this toffee now. well i mean i don't want to i don't want to sound rude but i've been carrying this whole podcast <laughs> um uh are you excited to get your amos hummel in the weeds again print from circa 1990 yes where are you gonna find that I'm going to steal it off the wall of the grind. I wonder. Hey, Amos, if you're listening, um, thanks for giving Sarah Joey one of those Mm -hmm. prints for Christmas. Thank you for sending it. Actually, he has a really cool Mondrian poster on his website, and that's what I asked my parents for. Oh, cool. And there's an Old Town Bluffton one, too, that I want Huh. to put up in my house. Nice. Support local art. Thank you, Soba, for sponsoring this podcast. <laughs> is that a Hilt? Is that what's the one at Hilton Head Co? Oh, Bo Art. Thank you, Bo Art, for also co-sponsoring that sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Thanks for um, offsetting the cost by co-sponsoring. Right. 
Those pants are tight on your... Awkward. Sorry, you're sitting very... I know. Well, I just went running. Ah. In between these podcasts, I went for a run. <laughs> And then I started cooking beans and rice, and then you told me to hurry up and get over here and let's do it again. Are they just burning on your stove? They're right not now? burning, but they're just off. So I don't know if it's cooking. I don't. It's just kind of soaking. I don't know. I hope it's, I didn't ruin it. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna eat for lunch. Uh, well, we had a peach bagel over here at the grind. So thank you, whoever made that peach um, marmalade. Peach preserves. Yeah. We'll call peach it peach jam. jam. Peach jam. Just like Java Jam. Right. Thank you, Peach Jam, for being a, a subtitle of this podcast. Next time we'll do a better job at talking about our theme. Okay. Which today is comfort. And sometimes yeah. just talking to a friend can be comforting. <laughs> it can. It can. It's especially talking if you're to about, your podcast wife. Especially if you're about husband. to have the worst, um, worst Christmas ever. Yeah. So if you see Jevin out and about, make sure to... I was going to say give him a hug, but I yeah, don't think he likes hugs that much. I mean, much. I was going to say, like, so people all the time... I don't know, like, like a masculine back clap or something. Back like, clap? You know when you're, like... Like a slap fight? Mm, yeah, I guess If you see Jevin fight. somewhere, just slap him in the face. <laughs> you know, get his mind on another type of pain. Which he likes to watch. Yeah. I like watching arm wrestling. I like watching slap fighting. I like watching UFC. I like watching rug thugs of the sport rugby. Like the th- like the guys that just like go out there and close. You are people. like aggro. I'm an alpha male. You are. I don't know about that. Um, well, should we wrap it up? Let's do some parting. Uh, let's do. Some, we, we're at, we're at uh, we're almost at an hour. Okay. Let's let's do a quick kind of like thanking our sponsors. Okay. The grind. <laughs> Thank All you. All birds. Thank you, grind. Thank you, Avocado Blue. Roasting Room. Thank you, Roasting Room, for sponsoring this podcast. Thank you, Apple Music. Apple Music. Uh, YouTube. Who makes your glasses? Uh, C Eyewear. Local? Charleston. But a chain? Ooh. Are they oh. Oh, but bi- I go to Optical Solutions around here, and they also have great glasses. You know what's interesting? So there's saw a- Dr. Campbell last night at the uh, Hilton Head Monthly party. Oh, is he the guy? He's the guy that makes the... Love him. So nice. Are they a sponsor? Sure. Okay. They, uh, more, they like eyes more than ears, but, I mean, it works. This is kind of funny. Uh, there's a kid that comes in here that drinks coffee, and we'll leave you, you with this. You don't say. There's a kid that comes in here that drinks coffee. I'll leave you with this, and then we'll sign off. And uh, yesterday, I was sitting behind the desk, and sometimes I'll just, like, people will come in if they're really busy, and I'll just say, hey, listen, I can't help you right now, but I will, I will entertain you until, until Addison uh, has time for you. And so this guy kept looking at me, and apparently he works there, and he asked one of them today, who was that guy sitting behind the, um, the, de- the, the countertop? And she said, I don't know. A lot of people come back here and sit and what did he look like? And the guy's white trash. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's because of this mullet. Possibly. And I think I was wearing. But I think it might just be in a transitional period. My hair? Because your dad's hair doesn't look like a mullet. I know, but I always say it is and he gets so mad. It's not a mullet. It's all one length. Yeah. It's like um, Bee Gees hair. Mm, Bee Gees. Love that. Do you have any Bee Gees Christmas songs on your playlist? <laughs> Do they have Christmas songs? Ha, 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 ha. ha. Christmas yeah. Alive. Christmas Alive. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, what would be a good... Uh, let's, do a, let's do a quick rendition of um, uh, Silent Night. Ha, First Noel. Okay, Silent Night into Silent Night Bee Gees into Satchmo Silent Night. <laughs> okay, ready? Go. Silent Night. It's a little faster. Holy night. <laughs> wow, that's your <laughs> that's your Louis Armstrong, huh? I don't have the chops for it. I don't Andy, have the, are you listening? I don't have the equipment. 
for that. A- Andy, are you listening? That wasn't that wasn't one of um, the best impersonations of Satchmo. Andy? Andy, Andy Gibb? does no. Andy Pitt? <laughs> <laughs> Andy Gibb? No, he's dead. That's sad. Yeah. Andy Pitt's alive and well. Come see him on Sunday at, uh, at I almost said the roasting room. Be home. Calhoun's. For Christmas. He's not gonna be there Sunday. <gasps> He will be at the concert at Low Country Community Uh. Church playing guitar on Blue Christmas, baby. I don't understand, though. That's not a religious Christmas song. The Lord works in mysterious ways. I'm going to... I'm going to give a shout out as well to my favorite Christmas album of all time, Low Christmas. Look it up on Apple Music or whatever you prefer. Then I'm going to give a a shout out to mine. Saddle Dove! Alvin and the Chipmunks Christmas. (laughs) Uh, And I would also like to do a side note to the Chopped and Screwed version of Freebird. If you haven't heard the Chopped, not for Christmas. But if you haven't heard the chopped and screwed version of Freebird, it's so good. It's like this. If I leave here tomorrow. I kind of like that. No, it's cool. You liked my version? I like that. Will you still 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 remember me? It's cool. As far as Skinner goes, I'm a Tuesday's Gone gal. Tuesday's Gone chopped and screwed. Tuesday's Gone worth the word. No. I like that one too, but I like the original Tuesday's Gone. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a great one. You should hear Gary sing it. I like Carrie's voice. Come to Woody's. Guess what? Thanks, Woody's, for sponsoring this podcast. They actually, you know what? Out of all the joke sponsors they we've had actually, today, they, they would, would really do it because they're so supportive. They probably would. They are. Woody's. They are. We could we could do it there. We could do a nighttime version there. Oh, that would be fun. I'm up for that. Yeah, Happy we could do hour it. with. We could do it out on the deck. Happy hour with. What's our name again? Ha- Harold and and uh, Harold Mauve. and Moff. <laughs> <laughs> Harold and Moff podcast. That would actually be kind of cool because we wouldn't have to put our names on this anywhere and we could just post it and we could just have pictures of us. But I don't know. Is it really us? Is it? Who is it? Well, you could Wait, just do it is? only in Satchmo voice. <laughs> <laughs> and people would be like, who's that nice girl Sarah talking with today? You're pissing by feather. Ja. All right, guys, if you're listening, you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> well, be yourself. Be yourself. No one else is better qualified. <laughs>